Good evening, and welcome to News View, the third edition. Tonight, I'm going to discuss a new email address for this show. If you have any questions, comments, or just anything on your mind, you can email me at newsview at email.com. Now, there it is on the bottom of the screen, newsview at email.com. Tonight, we look at the year in review to some extent. Now, this is 2008, and we've seen a lot happen. We've seen a presidential election. We've seen the government in the economy in trouble. And tonight, I discuss that and the new email address, newsview at email.com. I thought that would be easy to remember for everybody, and I thought it would be a great way to connect with the audience. Well, this is the third show. For those of you who missed the first and second shows, um, I interviewed one of my former Centennial High School teachers, Mr. Stan Yanches, and before that I introduced this show alone quite like tonight. I have no guests tonight. Tonight, I want to get your reaction on several things. One, music. This show will probably have music someday. What kind of music? Well, generally, in general, news music and I've decided to have people vote after I purchase the licenses to two themes. One of the two will be selected on how many votes it got in my email address, that is newsview at email.com. And there it is. Okay. Now, you know, of the election, we had Hillary Clinton, Mitt Romney, my, my uh, what's his name, Huckabee, we had Barack Obama, and in the end, the votes all done, Barack Obama won and is president-elect of the United States of America. Now this is very, very different than any election I've ever seen this was. In past elections, you didn't have nearly as much advertising or nearly as much news coverage. Well, the networks didn't really cover the, all of the conventions of the Democrats or the Republicans the way that they have in the past. And I read on WILL's blog, which I think is called TV Worth Blogging, where he was discussing that he didn't like it, that PBS was the only network if you can call PBS a network, it's a system. It was the only one to report upon the conventions this year. Now, I thought that was interesting and disappointing because the other networks seem to care more about commercials. I have nothing against commercials. I like a lot of commercials, but if you're going to have commercials, you ought to have more content because you're being funded by the commercials. I hope that makes sense. Well, here in Champaign-Urbana, you saw lots of political signs on both sides of the aisle. So 
saw lots of Obama signs and you saw lots of McCain signs. And it was pretty peaceful in this town, I think, which is good. And I don't know how it was where you live or if you live in Champaign or Urbana, but I thought it was pretty interesting this year. Well, also tonight, I am talking about my email address for this show. And I will probably plug that so much in this middle half hour that you will probably be sick of it by the time <laughs> By the time I'm done, that's newsview at email.com. Thank you for putting that up. Um, anyway, in other news, you've heard about the eight year old who was, who was reportedly killed his father and his father's friend. Now, I don't know what happened. I know they're sending the boy home at least for Thanksgiving. But I think I find it scary that an eight-year-old could have done that, or anyone for that matter. But you don't usually hear about eight-year-olds doing that if he did it. Um, I don't know. But, Anyway, there was other news this week, like the economy. The economy is, is in trouble and the car makers want a bailout plan. And I say, I say, I don't know what the best thing to do is. I don't know if the car companies should file for bankruptcy or if we should try to patch it up with tax dollars. We, we probably should let them go bankrupt, but uh, if we do that, would we be ready, as Ben Stein said on the news, would we be ready for a war if we were to lose our lose our um, car manufacturing from the two biggest companies we have. Now, um, tomorrow is when this show will be on, which is tonight, which is Friday night. It isn't tonight, but it is. Because this show is recorded, in case you've never watched this show before, this is only the third edition, like I said earlier. But some of you may have missed that. And I just want to keep you informed, and I will hopefully have more news to give out next time. Um, when I was picking an email address, I thought it was important to pick one that I could remember, one that you could remember, too. Um, so newsview at email.com I thought would be easy to remember. So I picked that, and you can email me anything you want, hopefully keep it civilized, at newsview at email.com. And in other news, today, um, today we heard from the government about uh, what to do with the automakers. They are going to give them a deadline for telling making their case to the government, the automakers, that is, for a bailout by December 2nd. And December 2nd is coming up pretty fast now. It's almost Thanksgiving. If I don't have a show before Thanksgiving again, I'd just like to say Happy Thanksgiving to everyone watching. 
There's a lot to be thankful for uh, living in this country and working here and everything. So our thoughts and prayers are with you on Thanksgiving and, and have a good turkey. Anyway, um, oh yes, the email address again. <laughs> I can't emphasize that enough. For feedback, please go to your computer and type in newsview at email.com to your email. Uh, like if you have Hotmail or Yahoo Mail or Maybe you have mail.com, maybe you use Outlook. Is it Outlook, the email program? If you use the, the um, Firefox email, what's it called? I don't remember what it's called, but it's newsview at email.com. And I hope that you have enjoyed this show so far. It's not over yet, but we're getting there. Okay. In other news, you, on Tuesday, there was a car wreck accident at Mattis Avenue in front of the McDonald's you know, near County Market, Garcia's Pizza, and P uh, Pizza Hut, there was a car crash, and there was a fire truck, there were police cars, and I think there might have been ambulance, and before that, there were two police cars and ambulance going farther north on Mattis Avenue. So that was all Tuesday. And I guess you've probably heard about the wildfires in Southern California um, and how they have destroyed, um, who was it, Oprah Winfrey's mansion, I believe, and it's got people evacuated and I think they may have got it under control by now, but I'm not sure. And that's just been at least no injuries reported that I know of, and everyone's okay, but there's a lot of smoke, and there was a lot of fire jumping the interstates, and it's just not what you want to have happen especially when it's that dry. And my, like I've been saying tonight, my new email address is newsview at email.com. So get to your computer if you have one, or if you don't have one, you can sign up to use one at the library. You could ask a friend if they have one, or maybe they'll let you use one to email me a message. If you have any comments, suggestions, questions, um, um, things you'd like to see, ideas for the show, maybe you want to be a guest on the show. I don't know how likely that one is, but you can try. At least try. Um, well, this is News View for Friday night at 9, and it's after 9 on Friday night if this is if you're watching this, and uh, right now, when, I, when we're recording this, it's just after 2.30. <laughs> so, enjoy the show. I hope 
I hope you'll watch again if I have another edition for future shows. And I hope you like good news music because I think I've narrowed it down between two news themes. Um, one is called energy and the other is called um, corporate fanfare. Now, I'm not a corporation or anything, but I think it sounds terrific. So if you can even, you can go online and look those up. You can go to sounddogs.com and look at SOPR, type SOPR into the search engine and if you wade through that, you can get to corporate fanfare. And if you go to killer tracks or networkmusic.com, you can listen to a sample of energy after typing it in the search engine there. So I hope that is that will be a vote. And maybe next time we can play them here and you can hear them if you don't have a computer or if you just haven't bothered to. So, next I would like to talk about the weather. Now when I came in here today it was slightly snowing, a flurry, and it has been a pretty cold middle to end of fall this year, or autumn, and I was wondering what you think about the weather. So if you have any weather comments, any weather-related comments, you can send them to newsview at email.com. Newsview, that's all that's all one chunk, newsview, at email.com. So, and there it is. Um, well, the weather and the coupling of the sun going down earlier and the time change. We've had time change since I last did the show, so it's an hour earlier. And this show was on at 11, but this time it's on at 9. So I might have a bit, I don't know, a bigger audience, the same audience, or a completely different audience of a size unknown for this edition, and I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed the email address, <laughs> as I have been mentioning, and I also hope that you like this show. Now, I have, said, I have had some positive feedback. Some people have come up to me and said they really like this show which um, which I'm, I'm glad you like the show. There's not much to it, it's at least yet. There's just me and the occasional guest. We've had one so far. So I don't know where that will lead next. I do have some prospects for good guests. I have some people I'd like to ask if they want to be guests. And if you have something important to say, or if you are, are really in need of an outlet to get your news out, maybe you could be a guest on my show and you can let me know by emailing me at newsview at email.com. And, and this, oh, there it is again. This 
is the best way to reach this show. Um, I get a lot of junk mail on Yahoo. Uh, I think everybody who uses Yahoo gets a lot of junk mail on it. And I went with mail.com and the end email.com because I thought that would be easy to remember. It looks like a good service that will get less trash emails, less junk mail. We could all use less junk mail, couldn't we? If we look at the regular mail even, you, know, you probably get a lot of junk mail. Excuse me. <coughs> there. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, just had to cough. And, well, um, that's newsview at email dot com. And I hope you're having a good night. I hope you're not sick. And I hope that we can meet again on television in this way for another edition of News View. This edition of News View is number three, as I said before. And for the third time, I'd say it's going pretty well. And the email address, newsview at email.com. You can say it with me if you want to. Newsview at email.com. And um, I don't know what else to talk about, really. We've talked about the email address. We've talked about some crime. We've talked about the weather. I've talked about some other things. And I like the opportunity to sort of tell you these things. And that's life, isn't it? You, have lots of news in life. And the best way to get that news is right here at News View, or at least it will be someday, I hope. Well, I'm hoping you all have a good night and a good, uh, maybe you could have some hot chocolate or a slice of pie before you go to bed, or maybe not. Maybe you should, there's some diabetics probably in the audience who, who should probably um, have sugar-free candy and there's also probably a lot of different people watching this time, but I don't know. I might find out, especially one way for me to find out is for you to email me at newsview at email dot com. So that about wraps it up for the night, folks. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the show. I hope that that there'll be another show and that's about it for tonight. I can do one. Good night.